Mesothelioma is an aggressive form of cancer that develops in the lining of the lungs, abdomen, or heart. Due to the rarity and severity of this cancer, many clinical trials are ongoing to improve treatment outcomes for patients. Some of the most promising areas of research include immunotherapy, targeted drug therapy, surgery, and multimodal treatment approaches. One area of active research is cancer immunotherapy, which aims to help the body's immune system fight the cancer. Some ongoing immunotherapy clinical trials are testing checkpoint inhibitors, drugs that target proteins like PD-1 and PD-L1 that help tumors evade the immune system. By blocking these checkpoint proteins, immunotherapy may allow the immune system to better recognize and destroy cancer cells. For example, one phase 3 trial is comparing the checkpoint inhibitor Evolumab to standard chemotherapy in advanced mesothelioma. Early results shown Evolumab improved progression-free and overall survival compared to chemotherapy. Other trials are combining Evolumab with chemotherapy or the checkpoint inhibitor Ipilimumab to see if this dual immunotherapy approach works even better. In the area of targeted drug therapies, Several clinical trials are investigating drugs that specifically target genetic mutations driving mesothelioma growth. Pemetrex, Alimta, remains a standard chemotherapy for mesothelioma and studies continue to refine optimal dosing schedules and combinations with other drugs. Research is also examining targeted therapies against the epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, and vascular endothelial growth factor, VEGF which are often overexpressed in mesothelioma tumors and promote their growth. For example, a phase I-2 trial is testing the EGFR inhibitor osimertinib in patients with EGFR mutated mesothelioma. Results so far indicate the targeted therapy is well tolerated and has led to partial responses in some patients. For early-stage mesothelioma amenable to surgery, clinical trials are exploring multimodal treatment approaches using neoadjuvant or adjuvant therapies before or after surgery. The goal is to shrink tumors prior to surgery to make them completely resectable or to destroy any lingering microscopic disease after surgery. One ongoing Phase II study is evaluating the neoadjuvant use of chemotherapy and an anti-VEGF drug before surgery for resectable, pleural-based mesothelioma. The primary goal is to assess the rate of complete tumor removals achieved with this preoperative strategy. Adjuvant therapy trials after complete surgical removal are also exploring longer-term outcomes using immunotherapy, chemotherapy, or radiation therapy post-surgery. For later stages of mesothelioma, clinical trials are developing novel combinations of existing therapies to try and achieve better survival rates than current standards. One such phase I-2 trial is combining immunotherapy with radiation therapy and chemotherapy in advanced, unresectable disease. The rationale is that radiation may enhance the effects of immunotherapy by increasing tumor cell death and antigen release. Researchers hope such multimodal regimens will have synergistic anti-tumor activity superior to single-agent treatments alone based on preclinical data. New clinical trial recruitment efforts seek to personalize treatment approaches based on tumor biomarkers and patient characteristics while pairing immunotherapies, targeted therapies, surgery, and radiation in innovative combinations. The goal of these ongoing studies is to significantly improve response rates and long-term survival outcomes for the often difficult to treat disease of malignant pleural mesothelioma through scientific innovation and advances in cancer care. Patients interested in participating in mesothelioma clinical trials have access to many actively recruiting studies at major cancer centers worldwide. Further research progress holds promise to eventually establish new standards of care for this historically fatal cancer.